Good morning and welcome back. I know it's been a couple days since my last video, uh, but I got stuck on cube and I was just like, what do I do? And everybody came up with great ideas to use quilts or quilted. And so I really liked that idea. And the only piece of quilting that I could find in my stash, because y'all know I don't quilt. So um, the only piece I could find was this. And I was like, I was staring at this for like two or three days, trying to figure out what to do with it because they're just, they're such bold colors. And I use color. Y'all know I use color, but not quite this bold. I use color mostly as like accenting, not the full blown whoo in your face. Um, so I was like, what do I do with this? I have no idea what to do with this. And so I was staring at it and staring at it and staring. At it. And finally I realized, wait a minute, I have quilted pieces. I just need to do something with them. I.e. these little pieces right here. So I got these from, um, the padded heart, Miss Michelle, um, on Etsy and she is absolutely fabulous. I love her stuff. Um, very, very, very well crafted. And because I don't quilt, I am definitely going to her for all of my quilting needs. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, maybe I can convince her to make me an actual quilt. That would be cool. Anyway, <laughs> that's the other point. So, um, you know what? I didn't bring my phone in here, so I need to move you over there and move you over here and I need to come up with a timer. Timer for 30 minutes. So, okay, well it just started when I hit go. So, um, yeah. So I've got some paper here that um, I don't remember what I used. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I made some gifts for a very dear friend of mine and um, that's what I used that paper on. So I'm just going to grab one of these. Um, it's one of the journal kit pieces that I have not, um, that's still sitting on my desk. I'm just going to take it out. I'm going to use the whole thing. Um, so we're going to come up with three pieces in here to use. Um, and these are kind of like fantasy fairy oriented. So it's going to be very interesting to see what we do here. I think I might actually just glue this right on the back of that because it's so thin. Let me do that. Hello. My fan's blowing. So my husband had, um, cause we couldn't figure out why it was so warm in the house because we have the AC going and I mean, yeah, we live in South Carolina. So I mean, it's, it's warm outside all the time anyway, but we couldn't figure out why it was so warm inside. And our fans were upside down. They were going the wrong direction. So some fans don't flip, but the ceiling fans, I mean, some fans don't flip, but these do. And boy, it made such a difference. Cause now it actually gets nice and cool in my room. And it gets so chilly that I actually have to put like a, a pullover or a sweater or a windbreaker or something on top. So there's that. All right. Um, kind of want to use this, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I do like this rose back here or the flower back here. All right. I've got some doilies I can use. I like that a lot. Um, I've got this lace right here. And no, I have not put this on the shop. I've been, I've been neglecting my shop. I haven't put anything new up lately. I kind of like that as like an overlay of everything. I might put that on last because I really like that. Ooh, pretty. Kind of want to keep the gold. It's 
So we'll move it down a little bit. It's going to be interesting trying to glue this down though. Because hot glue will, you'll see it. So I'm going to have to use Fabri-Tac so it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. Oh, I like that. Okay. So I'll close this back up. It's already white because I leave it open all the time. So, uh, just in case I forgot to mention it, which is very likely, uh, we're doing the letter Q, <laughs> and we're we're doing quilted. So we are crafting with quilted pieces. Like this is quilted. And I want to keep the background a little simple because I'm going to put this. Oh, that is warm. Did y'all see that? I just stuck my finger with the glue gun. Um, because I'm going to put this overlay on top. Uh, but we have all this writing space on the back too, so don't forget about that. So let me grab my fabric back. And there is uh, similar glues than Fabri-Tac. You don't have to use Fabri-Tac specifically. Let's see, there's um, the Fabri-Tac, tac it all and uh, what is it? Three in one. For the purpose of what we use it for, I don't believe there is a difference. For sewing, there could potentially be a difference. I'm not sure. I don't sew, so I don't know. I know some people ask all the time, like, what's the difference? There's not one for what we use it for. Now, there could be a difference for, you know, quilters or sewers, but for what we use it for, adhering, you know, fabric or lace to paper, there is not a noticeable difference. And I love it when I get it on my fingers. It's awesome. Not really. Alright, I'm going to snip this. Hopefully straight. And this is just some, I hate to say the V word because I know a lot of people don't like when other people use the V word inappropriately. So I don't know if it's vintage or not. I know it's old. That's that's what I'm oh that would be cool to leave it. Oh no. Oh that the wind from my fan. Oh that's so cool. Oh I think I'm gonna leave it. Oh, that's neat. So you could still write on this side. Oh, I like that. Ooh, that was a happy, happy thingy. I would say happy accident, but it wasn't really an accident because I like, I glued this down purposely, but I didn't glue the rest of it. And that's what happened. So let's make a, let's make a doily here. That one's too thick. I don't want that one. Go with that one. I do have doilies in the shop. Not many. Um, because I've almost sold completely out of them. Um, I think, I think the multi-pack is still left and there might be a couple of the the um the three packs but the various sized packs are still available hi hi Wayne just got home i'm using quilts i decided not to use the big blue thing that i've been staring at for three days <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to explain to him, like, because he was just like, you know, what's going on or whatever. And so I was trying to explain to him 
this alphabet challenge thing and he's like uh-huh yeah what <laughs> i love him to death but he had no idea what i was talking about uh he even tried to help one day i don't remember what he was talking about um but the word he came up with was like an adjective or something it's like well how am i supposed to do that i don't even remember what letter it was it was early on in the alphabet and then i stopped asking him for help <laughs> and i just started looking on the google for words that start with you know xyz whatever and seeing what would pop into my head for inspiration that's actually how I come up with some of them. Um, ooh, we could put it on the bottom. That would be cool. I kind of like it on the top, though. Over top. Herm. Oh, the dilemma. Maybe not at all. Let's add some pink to this. We're going to put this right there. And this is just some, some of these. I also don't have this in the shop yet. It will be eventually. Okay, I like that. Ooh, I really like that. Let's look over here. Oh, that's one of the pieces that's in one of my snippet packs. I put a couple snippet packs together and then they sold out. So, so I had to put more up, um, but I did get more up. Um, these flowers are in there too. Uh, this is one of the laces I have available on the shop. Um, ooh, some wordage. I like that. You're going to go right, right there. I'm going to glue you down before I change my mind. Mark. All right. Right there. This is pretty. I like that. I don't know why. I'm about to do. But I used this in uh, the gift I had made for my friend. She's probably not going to get it anytime soon. It literally just went out in the mail like yesterday. Or not even yesterday because um, yesterday was Sunday. Uh, today is Monday. You'll be seeing this tomorrow, Tuesday. Okay, you need to move. All right. Um, let's see. Let me move my big old hands out the way so y'all can see what I'm doing. Let's zoom in just a smidge. That's the wrong way. Oh, that's all the way in. All right. I'm basically just gluing these little... Um, these little guys and glue them down so they don't flop all over the place. If they were a little bit more like symmetrical when they flopped, I would leave them alone. But then again, you might want them all over the place. Who knows? They're really fun. Um, I had some of this trim left. I honestly don't even remember where I got it from, but I had put some in the snippet packs. And like I said, I, I literally just put more up the other day. So, um, because I had put like 20 up and then, well, I don't know how many it was, but I would put a lot up and then they sold out. I was like, whoa, that was quick. Y'all like those. So I put more. I hope my big old head's not on the screen. 
right, now I'm going to glue this part right here because it's a little loose because that's why I cut it. Where I cut the ribbon, I mean. All right. All right, that's better. Okay, let's put our lace on the back. here, a little flower here, got a little flower here, got little flowers everywhere. Alright, um, I feel like I need something back there though. Maybe cut this down just a little bit more. Take this off. this off and this off. Oh, that's perfect. Ooh, actually, no, we'll just leave it like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So I'm just going to lay this down like this because this is like a really, really fine mesh. I'm just going to lay it down like that and I'm going to glue the back of this. And it'll go through the mesh. Or I'm going to glue my fingers again. Whee! Uh. Alright. Oh, I like that. Oh, also, um, I do have a handful, not many, you'd have to go look, um, but I do have some of the handmade embellishments that we've been doing through the, um, the alphabet challenge. I do have a handful left on the shop. Uh, again, I sold out. So, um, I want to use something different for this. Um, let's go with this. That's too big. I don't want that one. I want this one. Alright, so do y'all remember when we did the pockets? Um, I know it was so long ago. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what I'm using right now is the bags uh, for the pockets. So I'm going to glue this down here. Um, yeah, this will work. Whee. Okay. And let's see, we're going to use the pink one again. I really like this one. Let's Probably why I haven't listed it yet because I just keep using it. I do have a couple laces that are like that, that are just so pretty that I just keep using them and I'm just like, ah, I don't want to share. Do I have to? But no, more than anything, it's just because I haven't gotten to it yet. I've got, I've just got so much stuff going on. My daughter recently graduated. Oh, I'm so proud of her. She got her high school diploma. She's 18. And, oh, it was just such a proud, proud moment. It was a very proud moment. I just, it's funny because I remember my own high school graduation. And I'm just like, how did all of this time go by so quickly? Like, this is insane. But 
Like I swear just yesterday I was graduating high school. How do I have a teenager graduating high school? It's nuts. Do y'all ever get like that? Do y'all ever feel like that? <clears throat> okay, let go of my bag. That's my bag. Alright, so I do have some other pieces that I can put on here as well that I have made. Um, these are also uh, pieces from um, the snippet packs. Like, this is some of the stuff that you can get in the snippet packs these embellishments here. The other ones I made just from like little scraps of this, that, and another. Um, I like that one. I like that one better though. I think I like that one better. Alright. And that's just my little box of ready-made handmade embellishments. So I really want to put this across the top of this. Ooh, uh, uh, my chair is so squeaky. I'm going to have to get Wayne in here to like WD-40 it. I don't particularly want a new one because I love this chair, but I may not have a choice. You know, I wonder if I could ink this thing. I moved my clock and now I can't, or I moved my camera and now I can't see my clock. Yeah, because I need to angle it in such a way. I like that, but I need something up here. Squeak. Squeak. Oh, maybe. There's another lace. I know, surprise. I, I just, I don't have enough laces. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like it down. That way it doesn't cover up the word. All right, let me put that on real quick. Oh, I need another stick. Another stick. Alright. I'm going to cover up the sewing on the bottom here, but that's okay. Yeah, let's move this up there. So I can do this part. Whee! So I don't know what I'm going to do after the alphabet challenge is done. I've thought about it a couple times, but I have no idea what I'm going to do. Like, I don't really have another project that I'm actively working on, you know. Mm. See, these, this is pinked, um, like pinking shears. So there we go. That's better. I just basically put the quilt piece on the bottom of the scissors and then the lace obviously on the top so I could cut and you can still see the pinking, the pinking. I really don't know if y'all can hear my chair, but it's driving me bonkers. Okay. All right. You, you move over there. And you, I know y'all can hear. There's no way y'all can't hear this. Oh my gosh. It's so loud. All right. And then, ooh, we could do it that way. And then put this here. Oh, I like that. But let's do it 
this. Wait, so I want to do this. Okay, so if it goes in the journal, well, it could attach to a page this way, but it would most likely attach in this way. Or we could just make the whole bag. Zoom out. Okay. We could just do the whole bag. Um, I really like it like that though. So I think we're going to figure this out. There we go. Because I've got to angle it. Because it's okay if it comes off the side here, but it can't come off the side here because if it goes into a journal, it needs to not touch that edge. All right, so I'm only going to glue this bottom line here. And yeah, I don't know how many of the embellishments are left, to be honest with you. I didn't check before I turned my camera on. Um, I know that I've sold the majority of them. There are some left, but not a lot. That I, I want to give you guys a number, but I have no idea. All right. I really kind of want that purple. There we go. Because this, this flower here has got a little bit of a purple to it. It's right here. It's like a super duper light lavender. Squeak. 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 Oh my gosh. It's so squeaky. Squeak. 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 And then, all right, and now we can glue this down. Oop. Well, if we get glue to come out, we can glue it down. And then this is loose. Squeak, squeak. Okay. And I don't know if y'all realize this, but it's a pocket. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. So we use the quilted piece here. Boop. Right there. And then we used, please don't click anything, mouse. Okay. We use the quilted piece there. And then we used the quilted piece there. And this actually flaps open. Bloop. Like so. Cool. I like it. I dig it. All right. And we still have three minutes left. So. I would say that that challenge is complete. It wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was once I stopped looking at that blue piece because that blue piece was driving me bonkers. Um, so once I stopped looking at that, it was fun. And it went hunky dory. I take my, I had bought, um, so I don't know if y'all watched Gail, but Gail had mentioned the icing bottles to put your Fabri-Tac in and it doesn't like spit out at you. I bought them like, I don't know, two weeks ago or something. And they're just like, I don't know, taking their time getting here. Uh, I want to say they're shipping from like California or something, but they are definitely taking their time getting here. Anyway, I'm going to hop off of here. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today and I really hope you all enjoyed this particular video. It 
It was very challenging trying to figure out what I was going to do. But once I stopped trying to force something to happen, it ended up working out. I need to stop this. I'll stop the timer. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining me and y'all have a wonderful day.